Yesterday, Linmouth was a peaceful holiday resort. Today, it is a ruin. Pathé cameraman Bill Jordan was on the spot soon after floods had swept down from the hills to smash the little town. And this is his story. I knew very little about Linmouth before I arrived. When I looked around, I was almost glad I didn't. Friends had sent me picture postcards of Waters Meet, a beauty spot only a few miles away. It looked very pretty and quiet. It was this stream, swollen with rain, that became a raging torrent, and it was these boulders that were swept down to Linmouth to destroy shops, hotels, and homes. In one single night, the main street had become a wild, churning river. It was dark red from the Devon soil. When I was there, nobody could tell for certain how many had been killed. We knew it was at least 22. I talked to some of the people who had lost their homes and their friends. They were still bewildered, still unable to grasp that their little town, which some of the locals used to call Honeymoon Town, was now just rubble. They told me of the awful speed with which the flood struck and of the dreadful sound of the water, roaring and smashing its way through their homes. Already, work has begun to mend the battered town. The army is there, and with them the men of the St. John's Ambulance and the women of the WVS, just as they were during the Blitzes. Help has been generously given. Nearby villagers have opened their homes to give shelter to the homeless. Broken furniture littered the streets. As I stepped over the rubble to leave Linmouth, a great dark cloud hung over the little town. Slowly, rain began to fall again. <laughs> 